Welcome to Rwanda Medical Academy. Today's lesson is about Pediatric Assessment Triangle, PAT. In this lesson, we will dive deep into understanding and mastering the Pediatric Assessment Triangle, PAT, a critical tool in assessing the health and well-being of pediatric patients. This lesson is designed to ensure that you not only grasp the concept of the PAT, but also can apply it effectively in real-world scenarios. At the heart of pediatric care, the Pediatric Assessment Triangle, PAT, stands as a rapid evaluation tool that helps healthcare professionals make quick and accurate assessments of a child's condition based on visual and auditory information without initially requiring physical contact or detailed medical history. The Pediatric Assessment Triangle is a framework consisting of three key components which are represented visually by the sides of a triangle. These components are 1, 2, 3. This triangle is designed to allow for the rapid assessment of a pediatric patient, enabling healthcare providers to identify any critical issues quickly and prioritize immediate interventions. Appearance refers to the child's engagement, tone, interactiveness, look or gaze, and the quality of their speech or cry. These elements help in assessing the neurological status and overall responsiveness. Evaluating the appearance can often give clues about the central nervous system's function and whether the child is suffering from any distress or neurological deficits. The work of breathing component assesses the respiratory effort of a child. Indicators such as abnormal sounds, e.g. wheezing, grunting, flaring of the nostrils, retractions, the inward movement of the chest wall, and the position the child adopts to breathe, e.g. tripod positioning, are critical in evaluating the respiratory status. These signs can help identify if the child is experiencing respiratory distress or failure. This aspect of the PAT focuses on the evaluation of the child's circulatory status by observing the skin color, temperature, and presence of any abnormal patterns like modeling. Pallor or bluish discoloration, cyanosis, might indicate poor circulation or inadequate oxygenation. Understanding PAT is one thing, applying it practically is another. When approaching a pediatric patient, always observe first before acting. From a distance, you can assess the three key components of the PAT, which will guide your subsequent medical interventions. Let's consider a scenario where you observe a child with labored breathing, using accessory muscles, evident from retracted chest and a pale complexion. Before even touching the child, you have gleaned critical information. Increased effort potentially indicating respiratory distress. If the child is lethargic or unresponsive, this raises immediate concerns about their neurological status. Pallor might suggest poor circulation or severe anemia. Immediate intervention might be required. Once the initial assessment via the PIAT is completed, Healthcare professionals should prepare for potential interventions that may include administering oxygen for suspected respiratory distress, preparing for possible CPR if circulation is compromised, immediate neurological intervention if significant alterations in appearance are noted. The Pediatric Assessment Triangle is an essential tool in pediatric healthcare, allowing for a rapid and effective assessment of a child's critical condition. By understanding and applying this framework, Healthcare providers can ensure they are delivering the most appropriate and immediate care to their pediatric patients. Remember, mastering the PAT comes with practice and experience. The more you use it, the more proficient you will become in quickly identifying and addressing the needs of pediatric patients. Thank you for dedicating your time and effort to learn about the Pediatric Assessment Triangle. Learn, save a life with us at Rwanda Medical Academy.